Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. For once we've got to start here. <laughs> and we're going to also start by going behind the, the Odyssey and taking a look around here for... Oh, there's a moon over there. Well, how would one get a moon like that? Well, maybe you'll find out later. But anyway, there are purple coins on little islands. Also a little key here, interestingly. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that was a, like a tree tutorial there if you didn't see that, but well, I'll just, just, yeah. Because this would otherwise be difficult to get out of, but I just did some fancy full jumps and there we go. Also, hmm. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, really? I could have swore I could have grabbed this with my hat. How about like this? Oh, no. <laughs> hmm, maybe I'm forgetting how to get that. Anyway, I guess I should just go back up and around. Ah, okay, so maybe that is not something that is hat collectible, hat friendly, and what the... But we got those three purple coins, so whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of shuffle around through these multicolored plants, and despite the whole dark atmosphere of this place. I gotta say, I think this place is quite beautiful. Oh no, it's Klepto. Not Klepto. Oh, I'm in my hat! Okay, this place is not that beautiful. <sighs> I thought we were over this since Super Mario 64. Well, <sighs> we gotta get that hat back somehow, some way. Hmm. How can we possibly do this? It seems impossible, since we can't do our hat jumps and stuff like that. Oh, but it's very possible. Don't worry. The game would not put you in a position that is impossible. These are trap eedles. And uh, they, they kinda, they're kind of spiky, as you can tell there. And yeah, you can't, can't really do much about them right now. So, you know, we kind of need our hat for that. Let's put it that way. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a little little bridge up to here. Got some tropical wigglers having a good time over here. And I got you up! Or did I? Dang it! You come back here! Okay, the solution should be, should be pretty obvious here. Boink! <laughs> Victory! I got my hat back. Whoa, thanks for the rescue. That was unpleasant and rather pokey. I sure hope it doesn't happen again. Now to pluck, to pluck our spirits, let's go collect some moon power moons. Okie dokie. I'll show you the... Oh, now we're getting some beautiful music on top of this, but I'll show you the tropical wigglers in a minute. I'm just going to go back down here and do some exploration duties here. Oh, actually, I should have... Whoops. I should have hit that down from above. Whoopsie doodle. Let's go ahead back up here and ground pound this. Because you've probably seen that there's a moon behind, yeah. <laughs> Inside the stone cage. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's a lot of really easy to get moons in this place. Probably because it's like a, a storyline driven type place where you're supposed to escape the wilderness of the Lost Kingdom sort of dealio kind of place. But, well, I don't know. I don't know if I want to leave here. It's so nice. So beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going up. Now I can actually show you the trap eedles. You hit them with your hat, and oh, he caught me! I can't, I can't get away. And then you, and then you jump over its attack with the, <laughs> with the hat, and then you can. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> so you can use this to get all sorts of stuff opened up. Obviously, we're <laughs> just as long as you've got the. The, I guess you could say straight line from one trap beetle to another, but oh, look at this. Something shiny in the blocks? Don't tell me, it could be a moon. Well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but I can't break those normally, so it looks like we're going to have to trap beetle it up all day and all night. Or just for a couple more seconds. Wrecked rock block. <laughs> it's also another moon. Uh, I thought like up around the tree somewhere around the <laughs> uh oh up, up in that tree okay <laughs> i will go ahead and, whoa, whoa 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 not yet i will go ahead and get up here with no, 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 no. go ahead and get up here with the greatest of ease <laughs> there we go 
And, well, this is gonna take me a little while to clear out this block, won't it? Hmm. Hmm. Well. Well. Oh, and I remember how to get that key now. I need a, a tropical wiggler, but... <laughs> details! <laughs> so, as you can see with these sunbursts or starburst thingies, wherever they are, you can switch around the height polarity, I guess you can call it, and, yeah, get around that way. Uh, I'd also like to go and... Wait, actually, don't I need a wiggler to get back from there safely? <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> I'm just kind of looking around here to see... Oh! I didn't mean to slip off there, but I'm just looking around here to kind of see what I can get as I go, basically. But anyway, I guess I'll grab a tropical wiggler. They're not... They're, I mean, they do damage you if you touch them, but they're a pretty passive enemy in that they won't really... Yeah. <laughs> So their idea is that they stretch, <laughs> they've got sticky feet, and they know how to use them. And that is how you primarily get around around here. That's why I was looking around first with just Mario to see what I could reach via a jump. Because, well, 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 it's, it's, it's like there's two separate ways of getting around this place. You've got the tropical and you've got the Mario. And this is how you get that moon, on a tree in the swamp, heck yeah. And by the way, you will not grab onto anything if you're like, in the middle of the air. You'll see he's like, it's got the sweat on its forehead that's dripping off, but if you go and grab onto some land, then you'll be able to poop yourself over to the other side. Got it? Good. And also, this is how you're supposed to get that, I think. <laughs> now that I think about it a little bit more there. Uh, I'll leave that side for a little bit later on. I'm, actually, I can just kind of leave leave you behind. There's more tropical wigglers to be had, and you'll just respawn there anyway. Um, kind of want those purples all around this windmill here, or whatever it is. It's like I don't know. It's not so much a windmill as a spinning platform, I guess. But Anyway, four underneath the same windmill, there we go, and I guess I will continue on the lower route now. Oh, do you? Don't touch. No touch. Touching is bad, except when I do this. <laughs> I'm gonna go get those. Actually, do I need to go around here? I don't think there was... Okay, just wanted to be sure. So, by the way, do not, do not move yourself away from... A spot until you're sure that you've got solid ground. I got a little too close to you, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, hat door there. I guess I could go to the hat door. Why not? Mountainside platform. It's a bit. Uh, you thought we were going inside the other area? Oh, no, 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 no. Not this time. <laughs> I mean, well, I guess this is technically another area. What I mean is one of those, like, bonus y type area things. Wanna go up here, grab those. And also this moon, of course. Avoiding fuzzies inside the wall. I don't remember if there's anything else in here. I don't think there was. By the way, you could see that poison water down below? It looks just like the lava from Mario 1. <laughs> nice little touch. I mean, they are both insta-kill after all. <laughs> Although, I, I guess technically, if you wanna be within the confines of the game's technicality, you would, uh, you would te technically state that the lava is bottomless pits because that's what it kind of was in Mario 1. It's just that, you know, they put a lava texture there, but you actually fell into a bottomless pit. Yeah, anyway, got that moon. And we can head on back and grab another tropical wiggler. Yeah, I know, we're getting, we're getting there pretty quickly there. <laughs> Who would have guessed? <laughs> Uh, I think I need to actually use that platform because I can't quite reach there. So yeah, I'll just kind of zip over there and go over there. just want to hit this a couple of times and then we'll go already here. And I thought there was some... Oh, it's too high up. I need to get there with uh, Glide on. Uh, he, he's way, way up, up at the top of this place. That's how I pointed out that moon early on in the part that was on that way, way, way far out island, because that's the easiest way to get to that. Anyway, moon shards. Let's go ahead and grab these bad boys. Go there right away. Let's go over here. And go over here. And I think there's also something behind this tree. Uh, too far away. <laughs> My body stretches, but it doesn't stretch too that far. Okay, there's another one. 
And just do the full loopsy doodle so I can get the camera all nice and pretty. Dang it! Am I on? There we go. I was gonna say, am I on solid ground there? Okay, I am. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll grab that because I want to go over here too. Because there's uh, it's Captain Toad here. <laughs> Thought I could might as well go over here. <laughs> ah, get here! I was dropped by a giant bird. A different giant bird than my usual one. But it's been nice to rest here in the quiet. And I discovered a little bird over you. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really quiet yeah. <laughs> it's like it's, it's the camera's outside the sound effect area, I guess. Should probably get going soon, huh? Yeah, I, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying my time here. <laughs> anyway, there's another tropical wiggler here with a hat. So just so that you can get yourself out of here in case you lose that one that I kind of let loose and <laughs> let myself lose. Uh, there's one more of those moonies. Over here he's inside this alcove, and there we go. And the moon will appear back on safe land. Woo! <laughs> and, and okay. Just gonna get myself. Did I? See? Oh yeah, there was a moon over there. I could get that. Uh, I'll get that in a minute. Can I? Can I reach that? Can I reach? I really can't reach that. Come on. Come on now, you, that's totally reachable. Oh, oh, yes! <laughs> All right, moon shards in the jungle. Yeah, I forgot about that other moon by uh, beneath the bridge, not by the bridge, beneath it. I'll just go ahead and flop on over there, no big deal. You just need to get over to that tree. Yeah, it's another sort of tree we gotta, gotta grip onto. Damn, your feet were totally above that. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Dang it! There we go. <laughs> Peeking out from under the bridge. And I just want to take a peek around the corners and stuff. I don't think there's anything else besides this path. Uh, nah, it doesn't look like it. At least nothing that I can see. And I guess I cleared out this lower area pretty good here. So I guess I can go back up the other way and see that. Wait, hold on a sec. I didn't. Did I, did I go inside some sort of. Oh, no, because I died. Yeah, because I reset that pillar because I died along with this one. I was going to say, these don't reset unless you die or go inside something. But no, no, no I've, my memory, it failed me. <laughs> anyway, let's continue going up, up, and up. Because why not? There's also coins on top of that little... See that way up on top there? If you if you ground pound next to a spot that has invisible coins, you'll actually be able to see them. See that? Yeah, because they, they, they briefly pop out in back into existence. Oh, I put the camera the wrong way. Stop that. Just get out of my way. <laughs> I'll grab some more coins with this moon just because. And yeah, I might as well just show you that they do indeed exist up here, I guess. Even though I didn't really have to because I showed that they did. <laughs> Alright, so now the upper route. We're gonna go ahead, back around through here, and... Why do I keep running into that? <laughs> anyway. Uh, Klepto is taken care of up there. We can go across these bad boys and finally get that moon off over on this side. I don't remember how to get those purple coins over there safely. Maybe it was with Glide on? I don't... I mean, I could just jump down them from above and just... take the loss, but... <laughs> A top of propeller pillar. But I kind of want to show a, like a proper safe way of getting things, you know? And grab these. Because I know I can get these safely at least. Gotta be kind of quick there, otherwise they'll be spiked. Or wiggled, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. You know what, fine, I'll just... Just go ahead and... I don't care. <laughs> uh, maybe I will just grab those before I forget them. The purple coins up there. All right, here we go. Triple jump. One, two, three. Oh, th wait. Those aren't reset. Well, actually, wait. Wait. Can I reach them just by going around? Hmm. I'm just gonna. Oops. Oh, wow. Well, there's purple coins in the trees. I forgot. But <laughs> one crow. Okay. That'll... Glad I. Glad I remember those when I seen them. <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about those up there. Okay. So, how did I get those before? Like, did I just, did I really just drop down and just grab those two? Just long jumped and... 
<laughs> I guess that's that's a way to do it, but how, now, now the question is how do I get back from here safely? I don't think there was any way to get back here normally. Get back from here normally, I mean, I guess I could do some fancy- well, hey, hold on, hold on. Okay, so that is actually a way to get back safely, alright. Now we go back up top, I guess. And wait, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> threw my hat way too late. <laughs> well, well, that should actually propel me back up. Yeah, up top. That that, that was all a part of my plan all along. All right, <laughs> uh, give me your body. And we're off. Here. I said, we're off. <laughs> Guess I'll go on this one because it's, it's going to turn there eventually. And, then, and that I need to get there by getting a rather tricky... One of these duders there. I, I forgot which one though. That's so I'm just gonna leave that for now. Until I remember. <laughs> I'll just break my way through here and oh geez, Illuminati! But maybe it means something good. I don't know. Just, I, we already we got full health. Who knows what that triangle is doing here. But maybe we'll find out one day. Oh no! no! <laughs> What's wrong with me control-wise today? Oh my god. <laughs> and it's gonna poop me back on the wiggler side because that's the last checkpoint. <sighs> uh, I'm never escaping the Lost Isles. <laughs> By the way, you're not, you don't really get hurt unless you're, uh, like in the middle of your body doesn't get hurt if you're already in snapback mode. That's how I was able to kind of take advantage of that there. And there we go. Alright. Focus, PK Cam. This, is, this may be your most difficult op. This may be your most difficult obstacle yet. You're actually supposed to grab onto this ledge, so... Yeah, but... Kinda was, uh... I don't know. Kinda doing it the fancy way. <laughs> come on, come on. You can actually do this jump without even breaking these blocks. You, can, you know, you can do some half-jump shenanigans and whatnot. Obviously, there's something here. <laughs> Who would've guessed the shiny spot would have something? On the mountain road, that's all the moons we need. We're, we're continuing the collect. We're gonna keep going. Wall kick tutorial? Yeah, well, wall jump. Jump towards the wall, and when you jump it, press B to do a wall jump. You can press B again when you reach a facing wall, and keep repeating to reach really high places. I suppose I could give a super tutorial on it. You won't be able to do your wall kick, or wall jump, however the game calls it. I know, I know, they just called it. <laughs> um, but you do, you do the kick when you actually are sliding down the wall. Like, you don't do it while you're jumping up at the wall. You do it while you're sliding down. See that? Because you got like a grip to it. So hold against the wall and then press the jump button and then reverse direction on the analog stick. Got it? Good. Okay. So anyway, this is your true tests. Go! <laughs> this one's time, so no dilly dallying. Mm, 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 mm. I'm doing this with really good rhythm there. <laughs> you guys didn't even see the slide animation. So we got an explorer toad here. What the poof? How do you? Oh, hi, Mario. I didn't expect to see you here. Exploring? Nah, I came here to open a store. Not in the tops. This location, right? Step on inside. Take a look around. <laughs> okay, I guess I could. But first, get for love of Arceus, get a checkpoint. Because for some reason, I keep making the dumbest mistakes today. And it's a shop. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Might as well do the usual moon buy. There we go. Heck yeah! Shopping in Lost Isle, probably? Shopping on Forgotten Isle, okay. <laughs> and I think that everything else was bought here, because this is like generic garb that you can buy at any shops anytime for coinage. And that life apart is useless to me since I keep falling in the poison water anyway. Um, I have enough for to buy all the. Yeah, I do. Well, except for the most expensive. <laughs> I might as well here, sure, so for, for the heck of it here. I think I actually need this um, back in the uh, Lake Kingdom, if I recall correctly. Anyway, <laughs> I will come again to buy more stuff, I suppose. So now we are pilots, we are looking snazzy, and we are ready to pilot our friendly glide on here over to various places. Ready? So we're gonna start by going over to here. Of course. <laughs> this is the first moon that we've seen in the place. 
And we're going to soar over the Forgotten Isle. There we go. Here's a slingshot. Woo, yes we can use that to launch ourselves. And now that I remember how to get that key, I'm gonna go grab a little fuzzy friend over on this side and tote him down here, if at all possible. I think I can. Yes, I know, I know, we got plenty, plenty, I know, I know, but we're still exploring, we can't, can't leave until we kind of finish stuff that we started here, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, how far away is a, is a wiggler here? This is kind of, kind of awkward here. <laughs> hmm, is it even possible to get a wiggler over there? I think it will be, but still, but still, yeah, you can walk them right off the edges, that's why I said, do not. Do not like stretch yourself out until you're sure that you can actually. I mean, that you got to, got a good foothold or whatnot. Because yeah. Anyway, let's waddle our way back over there. Oh yeah, purple coins on top of the tree. I'll get those on my way back too. Oh, it's like I'm forgetting all the purple coins on top of the trees in general. But anyway, it's a slow going here. That it's all a part of the walkthrough. <laughs> Uh, where was the ledge that I jumped down? Over here. Well, not jump down. It's more like drop down. Yunk. There we go. And now I grab the key from over here. And yeah, now I'm, I remember. <sighs> well, I don't think I could get that with my hat anyway. Maybe that's what I tried on my first playthrough, and it kind of stuck with me or something. But yeah, that's kind of a kind of a long escort mission you've got there, game. <laughs> Alright, so the coin's on top of the trees. Which one was it? And I can walk on top of the trees, so I can get a nice, good bird's eye view here, but I think it's actually this one that I see. Uh, yeah, you see these big, fat palm leaves? Yeah, you can- oh! You can walk on top of them, but come on, man. <laughs> come on, Mario. Don't, don't push the leaf downward and not walk into the purple coin. Thank you. Any more up here? No? Okay. Fine, I'll go back over to Glideon. And fall down to a couple other places. Because I do believe there's a couple of spots that are accessible more easily, like say the tops of tree trunks and stuff like that. Uh, I just want to take a peek, see, yeah, like those purple coins up there. Definitely want to get those. So let's go ahead and do that. You can also get down to the lower area here. Another sling. Amazing, I take my hat off to you, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see where this leads. Probably somewhere, yeah. Warped here if you wanted to. But that's just to get back there if you don't have any warps, I suppose. Okay, let's keep on gliding. Because I think there's a couple of other things. But actually. There's something twinkling here. Wait, isn't there a, a moon on top of the, the ship? Or something? I mean, not ship, the... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot all about that. Enjoying the view of Forgotten Isle. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let's go again. Uh, let's try there. Because <laughs> that's that looks like a spot that you can't normally access by foot. So... Whoop. Hmm, that was not very useful at all. <laughs> ah, okay, but yeah, I, I guess you could access that by foot, but that's not really, not really the easiest thing. It should be like a, one of those fanciful hat jump dealios. Uh, <laughs> let's see, got those. Uh, this would obviously be a way to get those purple coins down by the poison waterfall, but uh, I got managed to get them just fine. Well, there's regular coins there. Man, man, have we cleared out everything though? Oh, I see just ah, I see the purple coins underneath that windmill. Dang, 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 dang thing. <laughs> I'll get to that. But first, let's keep focusing on Glide on here <laughs> before we. Before you miss everything and anything. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll try this one last one here. I don't think there's anything on this one in particular, but there may be, so we're gonna see. Just coins. Just co I see. Now you're just now you're just screwing with me, game. <laughs> uh, well actually, I guess I could start here, because that's nearby to the 
poison swamp anyway, and then I'll just go over by that little little waterfall here on that side. I think I can just like yeah, hop down this way, right? Right? Isn't it down this way? Yes, it is. So we're gonna grab this, of course, a little bit cliff's edge. We're gonna go. I say we're gonna go. <laughs> We're gonna go back up, and I'm gonna do some fancy wall kicks. Hope you haven't practiced. <laughs> there we go. Okay, 42 out of 50. Where am I missing a couple? I mean, besides that, that side where the window was. Guess I'll go there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> this is probably the closest place actually to the poison. Uh. Take a peek up. Wasn't this where that the purple coins were on this thing? I can't can't get the camera high enough unless I go first person or something. Okay, that's this was indeed where. And it's 44. Hmm. 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 Forgot where the last six were. <laughs> By the way, I guess I should show you this move. Oh. Well, that's not what I was intending, but you. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with my timing on my controls today? It's not, I mean, it's obviously not the game, it's me, but still. Let's try this again. You're supposed to do this, and hack kick over there. <laughs> See, not that difficult. Oh yeah, Cat Mario. Oh yeah, I forgot about that down there. Back at the wall kicking area, there's this butterfly, this multicolored giant butterfly here and you want to not scare it off the ledge otherwise it'll be kind of kind of have difficulties but you want to throw your hat at it well if i can there we go as a moon <laughs> otherwise it'll fly away and then it'll be all annoying all day and all night oh there's oh that's where i missed them or, well three of them down that crevice there. The captain is missing! Well, I found them, but... Oh, wait a second. Forgot about this here. Isn't this like something that you gotta... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cave gardening. <laughs> how could I have forgotten that? Well, I got... I shouldn't say how could I have forgotten that. It's... I didn't come along this little edge here. That's how I forgot about... <laughs> well, I didn't... Yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Anyway, grab this wiggler and now I can go... Grab those three. Where are the last three? I don't... I'm not sure. Was I down through here? I don't think so, because there's a parrot over there. So, oh no, I was. I just, yeah. <laughs> I just came at full circle around the midpoint of the mountain. Oh yeah! I forgot about that sneaky moon. This is behind that four block uh, teeter-totter thing. <laughs> inside the rising stone pillar so that's where the twinkling sound was coming from over here <laughs> oh wait hold on a sec I forgot about this too yeah this is on the up the mountain trail the butterflies are the indicators of it I guess I think to get that moon you're actually supposed to use this duder here yeah that's how it's done then I gotta go back up and around the other side to get it but yeah, I just remember that was the correct height to get there, so let's go ahead and I don't know if I should grab... Nah, I don't think the Wiggler is going to be that useful here. I gotta somehow get myself down over here. Awesome, the cage gold! But still, but still, I'm missing three purple coins. I mean, I guess I could just leave them for now as I'm going to come back here later, but... I don't know, I feel like I'm leaving things incomplete <laughs> since I thought I was going to get them all this part. But I've forgotten so many purple coins already that they might be some place that I just haven't remembered thus far. I don't know, but for now I guess I will indeed end off the part here. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we fix up the Odyssey with the tons of moons that we got. And see you in the next kingdom. <laughs>